they had heard he said the he, song. He went to the studio to write for O'Malley. You know what I'm exactly. saying? But I told him, I said, that's, no, no, that's no, what he no, said. No, 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 no that's what he said. Uh, 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 that dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, well, you know, you know what I'm saying? Dude is a street cat, and I mean, yeah. on, on, in defense of O'Malley while I'm smashing him, it, it in defense, like, he not a real, he not a rapper like that, yeah, so yeah, he yeah. might need a little help, and it's all good, you know what I'm saying? But I told Beans, when they called you to write, a, write get on a song and write a cat's, ver I mean, hit, write his version of the diss at, at, a, at a dude that you rock with and you, you've you been 100 with, you're supposed to slam the door on that. Like, I know it's Philly, you got to hold it down, but Beans going to stand down on this one, that, that ain't my thing, I ain't got to jump in that. You should have knew. He said, you know what, Chuck, you right. You know, I understand that if you don't have... Up to you, know, up to par rhyme skills. You might have somebody to step in. I understand that, so I can't say that it's it's. If he would have, <clears throat> if Beans wasn't there, right. you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. It would have been that. So I understand he needed help. So Beans, Beans not gonna retaliate. It's not gonna be another diss from me. I was kind of looking nah, forward to hearing nah, something. Nah, talk man, to we Beans. talked nah, to Beans. Nah. I, he talked to Beans. He put me on the phone with Beans, and, 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 and it's all good. And that and it's cool that it's all good because I can go back to respecting a legend. And you know what I'm saying? The way that he's supposed to be. Can we, can you know we what touch saying? on respected. this uh, diss track that you got on with Meek Mill towards uh, the game? When, when Meek came to you, it was like, yo, bro, you know, the game saying this, the game saying that. Hop on this diss track with me. What did Meek Mill say to you to get you on the track? He really didn't say nothing. He didn't say nothing to get me on the track. I just happened to come in the studio. So, you know, I just was helping him out with some lyrics. And the situation kind of played out like it did. But it's really no beef, especially between me and Gang. Me and Gang got a good relationship, you know, had one for years. So it's not me and Gang beef. That's a game and uh, Meek Mill beef. So, well, you just you represent know, from Philly, basically, then? Yeah. Basically, I'm just representing for my city. That's it. So wait, real quick, rewind this. You said you was in the studio helping him out with some lyrics. Was you helping Meek Mill out with some lyrics? I don't want to put that out there like that and, you know, discredit nobody for the uh, skills and that. Okay, well, uh, either way, Beanie Seagull will be in B-more tonight. Yeah, B-more. It's for Jackie Demson. Check it out now. What? Now, hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck up. Listen. <laughs> oh, hold up, man. I heard it come out of the game's mouth. I said, ah, he must be joking. Then I hear Beanie Siegel say the same thing, and now I'm saying, what the fuck is up? Now, listen, the camp, which has accused pretty much everybody who has come against them or outwrapped them of basically using writers, you tell me they're using writers too? Nah, no way. No way. Now, Beanie Siegel confirmed what the game said on The Breakfast Club when he said, yo, yeah, listen, I showed up to the studio to help people write their lyrics. Now, that was the same studio session which they created this song. The only other two people who rapped on the track was Meek Mill and O'Melly, right? People, or at least the game said that Beanie told him it was O'Melly. Who knows if it was Meek? But the crazy thing is that Beanie Siegel is out here helping people write their raps. And again, it's not even a big deal because we've seen... Well, let, let me stop. It is a big deal. But we've seen that people don't give a fuck about who's writing lyrics. That's the reason why nobody cared when Meek called out Drake. So normally no one would care, but when it comes from the people or the group that's been calling people out, it's kind of like, w w wait, what's going on now? It looks kind of spooky. Now, the, the most embarrassing part about it is that y'all called in help from a legend and then still got washed by the game? That doesn't make no sense to me. I mean, it, that's to me, just kind of ludicrous, okay? Uh, we need some type of explanation for this, and if this is any way, shape, or form true... We need Meek Mill and the Chasers to stop saying who got Ghost Riders and who doesn't, right? Because clearly, if y'all using the same type of method as other people, y'all got to up y'all writing game. I know right now y'all saying that uh, Marcus Black wrote for the game, but if Beans wrote for y'all, what are we saying? Y'all, If anything, Beans supposed to be a better writer than whoever Marcus Black is. So it kind of confuses me, but it kind of makes the Chasers look like hypocrites. I'm hoping they ain't using no writers over there. Like, that's the spot where you can't use writers. I can't make an accusation, and turns out I'm doing it too. That would be very bad. What do you guys think about that? Do you think Beans are lying? Because I know some people are going to be like, yo, game is lying and Beans are lying. Do y'all think that's the case? Get in the comments, make sure you guys like. Definitely subscribe to Woodjack Academics. I'm out.